Is it ever okay to command God? Why don't you take a moment, talk about that with others. Is it ever okay to command God? Well, we're going to look for an answer to that question right here in the scriptures in Matthew chapter 14 and beginning in verse 22. It says, immediately he, Jesus, made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain to, by himself to pray. And when evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. And they said, it's a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And so in verse 28, it says, And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you. So he's trying to determine if this is actually Jesus, if this is actually the Son of God. Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. I think this is really interesting to test, to find out if this is actually Jesus, Peter says, command me, command me to come to you. He gives God a command that God might command him to come to God. And I think that's really interesting. How many times do we say to God, command me to come to you? In other words, I don't know if I can do it on my own. And so I need you to command me to come to you. And I'll, uh, I'll respond to your command in my life. Command me to come to you on the water. In verse 29, Jesus says, come. So Peter got out of the boat and he walked on water and he came to Jesus. Interesting here that the command Peter gives to Jesus is command me. So I ask this question, is there ever a situation where it's okay to command God? 